Hello YouTube, I am Snowman. Uh, I created an account on YouTube a long, long time ago, but uh, I didn't really put any videos up. I had nothing really to talk about. But, yeah, now I do. Um, I am an avid airsofter. Um, and I have been going through YouTube, and I have seen all these videos, all of these videos, about these little 12 year old kids I'm sorry if I offend some of you but still it really aggravates me these little 12 year old kids who just go on YouTube and post up their airsoft stuff that they just got for Christmas and they put it on and call themselves a special forces super elite delta sniper guys no that's not what you are okay really you can't slap together a loadout and call it Special Forces just because you think it's cool. If you want to do a decent impression of a real-life military unit, you have to research it. And that's what I'm here to show you how to do. Okay, first off, Call of Duty is not life. You guys really need to stop thinking that the people you see in Call of Duty are what, you s are, what are actually happening in real life. Call of Duty is marketing this crap to you so they can get money. They don't care about the military, honestly, that much. I mean, they might support it, but in the long run, not really. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you this video about my loadout, which is based on the U.S. Rangers. I actually put the time to research this, and... I honestly think it's pretty good, and s several others have stated that it is a good impression of Loadout. It is based off a Ranger circa 2008 or 2009 during training. Um, this was before, actually in training, this is when they are using the ACUs. So to start off, I'm going to do a head to foot, starting with the head. Okay. First off, helmet. This is an MSA Mitch 2000. It is actually a replica of the MSA. Uh, it's Chinese, but I have gone through the effort to actually get some good stuff for it. First off, you'll notice the four patches of Velcro. One, two, three, and four. Um, this is based on the Rangers standard operation operation procedure pardon me SOP um, the velcro can be used for different things um, pretty much it's whatever's needed on the top I usually have an IR patch but I lost it somehow I don't know how but apparently I did in the front here we have a Mitch 2000 night optical device attachment mount um, I really don't have the money to get a real mount, so I'm not going to do that anytime soon. And you can see two cat eyes, or not cat eyes, uh, bunny ears. They hold down the goggle and keep it pressed down. Um, and that's pretty much it for the helmet. I also have real straps and real pads for it, but I don't feel like showing you right now. Okay, so let's move on to my second line. Okay, this is a Pantac Ranger Green MBAV Modular Body Armor Vest. It is a copy of the Eagle Industries MBAV. It is non-armor. It, it can help. It can hold armor plates, but there's no Kevlar actually built into it itself. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six pouches and one hydration backpack on the back. Um, I have four magazine pouches, um, one MBITR pouch, one medic pouch, one admin pouch, and a Eagle map replica made by Pantag. All of it is Ranger Green. I carry a total of eight mid-cap mags, and yes, that does suffice. Um, I thoroughly despise high caps, and hope you will learn to, too, if you don't already. I carry an ICOM IC F21 radio. I will be getting a pair of Contact 2 replicas soon. And then I can update this. On the back, I have an I have the pack. 
is the replica, the Eagle, Eagle Industries modular assault pack, all except for the hydration tube. I'm not entirely sure if you can do that with the real one, but hey, why not? I also have one spare mag pouch on the back. I really don't have any use for it. Oh, yes, I have seven pouches. I have this really random useless pouch that I just use to carry a grenade in. Um, I have a Mad Bull replica grenade. And I personally love this vest. One thing on the vest though, you can't get a Condor and call it really great. Because it's not. Okay, Condor is like, the m it doesn't have a, not a monopoly, but everybody thinks it's awesome because it's the first thing they see. It's not. Trust me. I love Pantac, and I really recommend that if you want to do it, if you want to do a good Ranger impression, you get that. One thing to say, Ranger Green is not OD. It will not be OD, and it never was OD. It is close to OD, but it is not OD. Here's my first line, my belt line. Uh, really, it's not that much. It's just a uh, Breeders belt with one double mag pouch and Ranger Green. I carry two speed loaders in it, and that helps me a lot, actually. And I also have a Gerber multi-tool. Uh, I don't I sometimes have a use for it, and when I do, it's really helpful. Um, for the top half of my body, I'm d I'll, uh, I'm finished up. I'll do another video for the second half of my video, for the second half of my kit. Uh, hope this helps you, and yeah.